Welcome, guys, to the last class of this series. Uh, we're going to have a couple more after this, but they're all going to be off of Record Box. So, this is going to be the last in Record Box class. So, in this class, we're going to be talking about exporting. We're going to be talking about how to set up your flash drive, how to get it ready for CDJs, even before touching a CDJs on Record Box. So, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the camera just so you can see the sync manager here at the bottom. So, it's going to be you're not going to be able to see my face, which I mean, it doesn't really do much anyways, but cool. So we have the sync manager. So I'm going to show you a few options right here on what you can use for flash drives. So in talking about flash drive options, we're going to be dealing with a lot of different choices because you have a lot on eBay, Amazon, where to get them just in general what is the best flash drive for DJing. So there's a couple of really high end ones that are going to cost you a couple hundred dollars, but the performance you're going to receive is virtually no difference. Uh, so these are the little cheap USB 2.0 ones uh, that you can get at like Office Max or Home Depot, or yeah, they even have them at Home Depot, um, but you can get them basically anywhere. Uh, you don't really need a super advanced one. I use these ones. They're USB 3.1, which essentially means it will load faster from your record box. They have the little blue part. And then you can get a 32 gig or a 16 gig for about 20 bucks. I'll link, I'll link a bunch of options in the description. But one thing you need to be aware of is fake flash drives. Uh, do not order the one terabyte or the other fake ones, which I'm gonna post on the screens all over here but because they're fake, they write over themselves. And if you have learned anything in here, it's just buy a 32 gig or a 64 gig flash drive that will last you forever and buy two of them as backups. So as soon as you export your first library, let's say you have a show, your first show, make sure you get two copies of that flash drive because of the fact that sometimes they corrupt. Sometimes when you pull them, um, if somebody doesn't safely eject your flash drive, there's a decent chance that it's going to corrupt, but that's all for flash drives. I'm going to link everything in the description so you can take a look for yourself, but about 20 bucks is all you need to spend on flash drives or even get two 16 gig ones and you should be good to go. So we're going to play the game that you just bought this flash drive. It's a pretty slow flash drive. Nothing fancy about it. You can get a 64 gig for 10 bucks. They're, they're the 2.0 ones. I wouldn't recommend these. I'd probably get the 3.0 since they're a little bit faster, but let's say you have this laying around and you're like, okay, I have this flash drive. Let's use it or an old one from school. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug this in your computer as I'm doing right now. So I've just loaded the flash drive into the computer. As we can see, it's called X2. So with this, what we're going to need is we're going to reformat the same way we kind of formatted our hard drive from before. So we're going to go back to utilities. We're going to go to disk utility, double click that, and we'll see our flash drive right here. This is our record box library. Do not touch this. The X2 is going to be your flash drive. Um, what I'll usually do when I'm formatting flash drives is I'll just pull my record box library all together. So you can either hit this button right here, which disconnects it, or just format the flash drive. But for the safest way, I always disconnect everything and make sure nothing's running. So with this X2 right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to erase and then we'll name it rec new and then MDOS fat, fat32. This is what you're gonna wanna format it as, always. Um, so MDOS fat right there. See, you want this. This is what is going to make a flash drive work with Rekordbox. So you're going to hit erase. And what this is going to do is it's going to erase all the stuff on the flash drive. So it's a 16 gig flash drive. It's going to create new disk space. And there we go. We have Rekordbox new, used just system files, and then free, we have about 16 gigabytes. And the big thing is it's MDOS FAT32 right there. That is what is gonna be important because that's a universal readable file for both Windows and Mac. So we're gonna go back to Rekordbox. So we're gonna open Rekordbox up, let it load 
And I'm going to minimize this video of me just so you can see the sync manager. And then what, what you're going to do is we have our tracks and I just, I just like, I keep it in one player mode cause it's clean. So back in record box, what we're going to be doing is you can see how devices pulled up and there's a little exit mark over the record box one. And then there's a record box new or a rec new, which is the flash drive we just made. So how are you going to export these songs? So we finished up the test one. So the test one is everything that we just did throughout this, these 10 classes. So these are the main songs all completed, all ready to go. This is essentially, let's say it's a set. So if you wanna move this set or playlist to your flash drive, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to Sync Manager. You're gonna click Sync Manager. And you have three columns here. This first one you can ignore altogether. The second one is gonna be your record box. And the third one is your device. So your device shows up right here. And if you, you format it incorrectly, or if it's a corrupt drive, sometimes you get corrupt drives just off the lot. Sometimes some just don't work. Just try again. Um, formats sometimes don't work and flash drives go bad because they're technology. So in our case, our flash drive after the format shows up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check this box that says synchronized playlist with the device. And what this is allow, is going to allow to do is record box to put music on the actual device itself. So we're going to see the playlist right here. So I'll usually, you'll have a bunch more playlists. So we'll make, um, we'll make two more playlists and drag a song in there. So we'll have two so I can show you. So we, the check mark is still active because it's with this computer. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the test one playlist. And if you just select the playlist, it's going to select all of them. And if you have hundreds of playlists like me, you don't want to do that. So you're just going to select your set playlist, which is going to be test one. And you're going to hit this arrow. What this arrow is going to do is it's going to sync your music from your record box and put it in a format that CDJs can read just to make sure. So we'll hit this for now. And what this is going to do is it's going to sync everything to the record box drive. No, don't ask me again. Okay, there we go. So if you can see down here, it says exporting volumes record box new. Once this hits 100%, you know your flash drive is done. So give it a second here. Uh, it's a, it's, this is the difference between a USB 2.0 and a USB 3.0 and the faster speeds. Like this is only... 10 songs and it's taking a while, whereas a faster USB, it would finish, it would have been done by now. So it's gonna take a second here, but for now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this run out. We're gonna go up to settings. So the DJ system, what this category kind of does is it, this is gonna be in one of the post classes. It's not stuff you need to really know before you touch your first CDJs, but what you can do is you can do create library exclusively for a CDJ XDJ. So we have CDJs, so we're gonna be making it for CDJs. This is the main stock when it comes on. Leave it as that, you're good to go. All this other stuff, I'll show you in a later episode or just in a tips and tricks menu where we go into more advanced topics that you don't really need to know as a beginner, but as you become a better DJ, they help increase speed of certain things or they can help you do things on the fly quicker. Um, I don't really do this ever. Um, I never use Kuvo just because I like my playlist with myself and I'll share them with my friends. But now we know that our drive is done. So what you can do is you can either hit remove USB device from record box which is a quicker option to do this. So I'm not gonna do it from here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out of Rekordbox because I'll show you for example, let's say we're gonna, you always wanna safely eject the record box from the hard drive because I've had ones crash on me where I just pull them. So this record box new that we just loaded music on, you can double click it and check that there's contents in there. So you click contents and then you see it sorted by artist, a known album, and then 
song. So this is how the record box is gonna sort it. But for example, it's not gonna save, if you were to give your friend this friend this contents folder and they bring it into the record box, it's not gonna have all the same grids that you have. They would have to actually have your library, which is gonna be off this drive right here. But I don't normally give people that unless they I wanna show them something. But most of the time, rule of thumb, I just don't give that away because it's just the work I've done and my marker points won't mean anything to anyone else. So we have our record box new. I've proved that the music's on there. If we try to eject it with record box still running, it's gonna say it's in use. So what you can either do is you can either hit this button right here or what I like to do to make sure everything's fully closed down, nothing's accessed anymore, making sure there's no access is I'll close out a record box because essentially my set is on my drive for the night. So record box will take a second to close because it's saving everything. And we have a record box new and a record box one, which is our drive. So you take the record box new, bring it to trash, or if you're on a PC, you right click it and you do safely eject. And then the same thing as the record box drive, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move it to trash. So other than that, there is record box in a nutshell. It's a quick guide on how to get you started in less than an hour and hope it helped. And if any of you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Please reach out to me. I love answering DJ questions. It's what I do on the side. I've just thought about making this masterclass when I was teaching a bunch of people. So figured I'd do it and make something out there that's free and accessible and updated with the newest version of Rekordbox. So thank you guys for sticking with me through the guide. Uh, I'll be posting a few more videos in the future. Specifically, I'll be doing an 11, 12, and probably 13 of just like tips and tricks and moving the flash drive that we just exported, which is gonna be this one right here. Moving this flash drive uh, onto a Rekordbox unit and playing the songs and showing you kind of how, I'm not gonna touch this flash drive until I plug it in the CDJs and show you what your files will look like when you bring them up and just kind of how you can navigate around. And then once I show you the record box stuff with the CDJs, I'll be going over certain things in record box, kind of like the, the sorting uh, menus for on unit stuff for when you're exporting just to make your lives a little bit easier. But other than that, that's a wrap. Uh, if you have any more questions or want to send me some cool tunes or a playlist of free downloads you made, feel free to all. I'll be certain to continue to update that playlist, but thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't yet, make sure you drop a like and a comment or and then drop subscribe on the video because I'll be posting a bunch more tips and tricks with Rekordbox in the future. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next episode.